My grandmother had a very, very tough life, as someone born in 1918 is prone to have. She lived through the Depression. She served in World War II. She met my grandfather there. They got married. Unfortunately, my grandfather left my grandmother when they were 35 years old for a 19-year-old that worked at the snack shop at their country club. <laughs> All the men in here are like, sounds pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I used to be a nanny. <laughs> Yeah, I work with children. <laughs> I loved it. I nannied for a little French baby. Well, his parents were French. Yeah, it wasn't like a baguette I put a hat on. Like, Ooh. <laughs> Bonjour, oui, oui. <laughs> this is a great job. I love this job. The best job I ever had, I was a caregiver for my grandmother. She lived with my family for three years. She had very, very advanced Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's is an awful, terrible disease that can sometimes be really fun. Uh, <laughs> I took her to see The Dark Knight. She laughed the whole time. <laughs> she kept being like, the Joker is funny. I'm like, I know. <laughs> she had a wonderful sense of humor. Towards the end, she had to wear adult diapers. So I would go down to her room. She'd be completely naked, but the diaper, going, I'm Donald Duck. I'm Donald Duck. <laughs> My grandmother had a very, very tough life, as someone born in 1918 is prone to have. She lived through the Depression. She served in World War II. She met my grandfather there. They got married. Unfortunately, my grandfather left my grandmother when they were 35 years old for a 19-year-old that worked at the snack shop at their country club. All the men in here are like, sounds pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> it was not cool. Luckily, my grandmother forgot a lot of this, though. So she'd come up to me, and she'd say, where's Bill? And I would say, well, Bill is dead. And then she'd get the biggest smile on her face. <laughs> and she'd ask, did I kill him? <laughs> Which puts me in such a tough spot. You're not supposed to lie to Alzheimer's patients. So I'd always say no, because I didn't want to confuse her any more than she already was. And then once I knew she was really on the way out, I just started to say yes. <laughs> and my mom would get so mad at me, and it's like, yeah, mom, you don't get it. Like, this is her make-a-wish. <laughs> this is it for her. She's not gonna be a running back on the Rams for a day. She's not gonna ask to slow dance with a manatee. Like, she wants to think she strangled her ex-husband and got away with it, and I'm a good granddaughter who makes dreams come true. Huh? <laughs>